Bree Pettis here bringing you another Make Video Podcast. While at the Robo Games, I saw CTP's Arca Musarhythmica. Now I've got a soft spot for experimental music and art bots, so I had to learn more. Check it out. Uh, yeah, I'm Christopher Palmer. Uh, people call me CTP. It's just my initials, but I've been called that for years. So uh, The piece here is called uh, Arca Musarhythmica. It's a title I took from an autonomous musical instrument built by a Jesuit priest uh, many, many years ago, hundreds of years ago. Okay, it, it involves three different experimental musical instruments that I built. One I'm calling a snap organ. It uses the lids from iced tea bottles and uses solenoids to snap them. They're connected to PVC pipes that are cut to length to provide different tones and it's one complete chromatic scale from C to C on there. There's also a violin on top, an electric violin. The strings are played by vibrating pager motors. There's no, there's nothing on it right now to finger different notes, so all the strings are just played open. But uh, eventually I'm, I'm working on a plan to be able to select different notes. And then the third thing is, we're just calling it a bottle organ for want of a better term. It's, um, glass bottles that are also using vibrating pager motors to ring them. So they sound a little bit like a cross between a doorbell and a cricket. And the whole thing is uh, controlled by two hand controllers that I designed with lever switches uh, to look and feel a bit like uh, kalimba, you know, like a thumb organ. The plan, you know, it's interesting. People have been asking me to play tunes on it. And I told them that I spent so much time building it right up to the last minute that I haven't actually played it myself. I haven't sat down and figured out. And then I realized that's probably best. Brought it here, everybody's going to be pushing the buttons all weekend. And I can hear the different combinations of sounds. I can hear what it's going to do. Then I can decide better, is it making the sounds that I want it to? How can I make it better? How can I improve on it? I brought some effects that I'm going to add in and see how those shape the sound. So I'll be playing with that a little bit later. So yeah, I do plan to compose music for it. And of course, if anybody wants to, you know, who sees it and, and would like to, they're welcome to, uh, to try as well. That'd be great. So if you're a composer looking for a completely new platform to express yourself with, get in contact with CTP at ctpdesign.com. All right, I'm Bree Pettis, and I've just brought you another Make Video podcast. What do you make?